In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a new tool that enables you to mask an effect on top of a video. In this case, we're going to take the gentleman in this video and turn him to black and white in every frame while everybody else is normal. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you how to do that in PowerDirector 365. The first thing we're going to do is take the clip and put it on the timeline. I have the one that I created the example that you looked at on the left side. So I made a copy here of an unedited clip. Next thing we do is we're going to go into the effects room at the very top. That's the fourth icon from the left and pick an effect. Now I happen to pick one that's black and white. You could pick any kind of effect you want. Uh, to make things different. I, that's simplest for this particular kind of style that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click this one and I'll drag it and drop it right on top of the clip. And you notice it makes every single pixel in every frame black and white. That's not what I want. So I'm going to do some editing. Now I'm going to click on the small icon right on top of the clip. The little eye that says effect. If I click on it, it will freeze it on the screen. I'm going to click on the black and white. And now I notice I have a new option. The new option is these elements here. This is your effect mask. This allows me to select one object and this allows me to select all the objects, at least the, what it considers to be the main object. And this is just a rectangle mask. So what I want to do is select one object. Now you notice I've done one with a gentleman so far. Let's me click here. This time let's do the lady. And we'll click her. So I need to click the selection tool and add to mask. Now there's a limit to how much you can select, but it does a pretty good job of guessing. So we're going to select her in this case. And then I click on the track object. Now the first time you do this, it may take some time to load some additional software. And you will get the screen that this may take some time. And that is indeed true. I'm going to pause the video and then we'll wait until it's fully tracked. Now this took about 8 minutes on a 27 second clip. But when it's done, it will actually play it, and you will see the mask move with the person. In this case, I caught everything but the bag that's flopping on the back of her uh, shoulders. It's amazingly accurate compared to anything I've ever seen before in CyberLink PowerDirector. Now, it says click OK to save the mask once the tracking is complete. I'll click on OK. And you notice now it's saved a mask with those properties. Now I can also invert it. My mask is black and white. I can make her color and everybody else black and white. That's what I want to do. We'll keep it back to the way I had it before. And I'm wondering if I can use these masks before. I have a mask on him that I used in another situation. Let me try to add an effect and see if that would work. Here again, I'm kind of guessing on this. Let's see, we can change the degree of the mask. We'll leave it all the way up for her. Let's try adding another effect. Uh, I haven't done this before, so we'll close that out. And let's take oh, the sepia one. Drag that to the track, see if I can add that. And then I'll click here on information. I'll go to sepia. Let's apply the mask to him. Ah, okay, all right, so now she's black and white and he's sepia. So apparently you can do multiple masks related on the kinds of effects you want to do. That's good news. So let's see if there are any others we might want to try. I'm going to 
remove the sepia one for now, but I didn't remove the mask, which is good. Um, and we're going to go back to our video effects. Uh, distortion. Oh, that we really wouldn't work on a person. I don't see many of these that will work on people. Face blur only works on face. Body effect would work, I suppose. I haven't even downloaded this one yet. Let's do that. All right. And okay, so now I'm going to apply it. And we'll go to our, our effect here. And we'll just limit it by using the effect mask that we've got here for him only. I can change the glow size. It's like that's the smallest I can get. So let's play this and see. Yeah. So we can uh, make her black and white and him glowing. Interesting. Or we could go back to the black and white, white effect and click on her and invert the mask. So only she is in color, but he is outlined. Interesting. So this gives you some idea of some of the variations you can do with this new tool that allows you in 365 to create these masks pixel by pixel using an AI tool now available as of July 2025 in CyberLink PowerDirector.